There's been always this uh, question whenever people are working or people are new to uh, vector programs, isn't there something that you can just take a pixel based image, drop it in there and it comes out vector for you? You know, maybe they get a logo that's poor quality. And there are quite a few programs that have attempted to do it. Um, Adobe Illustrator's got a trace feature, I think Carl's got a trace feature. So when it comes to something like Affinity, who came out with Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo and Publisher, everyone was asking why don't they have a tool. And I think I read somewhere that they don't want to release something that is, you know, not totally efficient at doing the job. So they probably would still be working on it. Um, so there's a lot of cloud-based systems you can upload a picture, but it's it's not that good. Um, the one that I got access to and I've used uh, for quite a while is Vector Magic. I think, in my humble opinion, this this is the best program to do this. It gives you a lot of flexibility. Its total function is to take pixel-based images and turn them into vector art. So it gives you fine-tuning, or you could have a one-click fully automated system, but it's it's quite brilliant. So let me show you how this works. So let me just show you here. This is the portal. This is version 1.5. It's like kind of many years old, but it's the latest version that, that is available. So let's look at this. I was busy with some logos that I was putting onto a website of, you know, websites that I've done for clients, etc. Um, but then you get to a point that some of these logos are in good enough quality and you want to upgrade them. Now, there's some things that these vector art programs are not going to do perfectly. Um, getting fonts and that sort of thing perfect is, is, is a difficulty for it. But pretty much it's going to get you 90% of the way. In some cases it will get you 100% of the way. So I'm going to use a, a few samples. Um, I'm going to use this one that I've done. This is a very basic one. Um, so when I drop this in here, I could possibly go redesign this, uh, you know, quite simply. But I just want to show you the the ability that this program has. I would assume that it would struggle with these these fonts. It just generally does any uh, pixel to vector art thing does struggle with it. But let's see. I'm going to go with a fully automatic uh, process, one click and it goes through the process. You could choose the basic tool, then it goes through a question and, uh, and response. You click and it will ask you a few questions based on those questions, you know, what type of image it is, is it pixelated, is it a good or poor quality. You answer those questions and it does about the best adjustment and then you have finer tweaks with it. The advanced one of course is, it's more complicated to, to go through it but it can get you closer to that point. But let me just show you here, yeah, fully automatic. Click there and it runs through quite quickly. If you've got a slower computer, of course, it'll take much longer. Okay, there you go. So isn't that brilliant? Now, I, if you look closer, you'll see that these fonts have not really followed the pattern too well. So you can kind of fiddle here with uh, different settings. I'm not going to go into sh to doing a demo of the program itself, I think that there's some tutorials on the company website that will show you this. But pretty much you can fiddle around and see what gives you better results. We click the button that says that our original image was a medium quality and or the detail level was low and, and you'll see how it responds differently. Okay, so it starts to lose form. As I said, unless the quality of the the fonts are very high. You do struggle to get perfect lines and edges. Even if you look at this, this uh, E, uh, this one is nice and clear because the size of the fonts are quite big, so it's easier. But the smaller ones it struggles with. But look at this here. These now I'm going to go and just click on bitmap. I hold it down. You'll see I'm going to zoom in here a bit more. You'll see that's the original. You can see the pixels. This is how the vector has pulled it through, which I think is totally, totally brilliant. There we can see. So this algorithm is brilliant. You can see it's falters on the fonts, but on the, the vector images, it's pretty much there. Then you can also click on the paths and it will show you how the paths run around the objects. Okay. 
So for me, if I had to do this, I wouldn't mind researching how to get this bottom font, the smaller font, and do it, um, you know, find a replacement font. But generally this Grune Dental and this section here is all now replicated well. And then I can go through and go next. Um, and then it gives me options to save it as an illustrator file, a PDF, an EPS, and so forth. And I can save it as PNG, the normal formats. But look at this. I'm going to size this down. Uh, let me just move this, move this across. I'm trying to get it. I've got two screens. Uh, I don't want to drag it too far off. I just want to show you that it gives you this drag and drop feature that you can, once you select which format you want here, now I'm going to do EPS for this file. You can take it from here, grab it, left mouse button, and just drag it onto your application and let go. Okay, and there we have it. Isn't that incredible? Okay, now if we look at the layer here, okay, my layer is on the left, yours would be on the right. You'll notice that there's one layer and you could think, oh, but all these things are now... How do I access each thing? But if you look carefully, you will see because I've dragged it across and it's EPS, it says it's an embedded document, which means this is equivalent to creating a document and then going file and placing that document on here. It is a affinity document that's been placed, which means it now is, it will operate on the basis that if I double click on here, I'll open this affinity file which is exactly what happens here. That's an embedded document. When I double click on this, you will see it will open up another tab. It's just giving me some color space info there. But then it opens the embedded document. And there we have the curves that I was talking about. And then it pretty much works the same. If I go to node based material, I can start working with the nodes and function like that. But this is brilliant. So for me, Fiddled with Carl, fiddled with Illustrator, fiddled with some online systems. Nothing comes close to um, this vector magic for me. It's just so much flexible. I'll just do another one so you can see. Um, let me just grab this. Okay, I'm going to close this window, delete this off. Okay, um, vector magic. Let me just do a back to start page and re reset. Uh, let me do this. Yeah, let me do this one. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do this one. Let's see this. Okay, these, these ones all have transparent backgrounds. Let me just, I'm going to get one that's got a, a color background so that, uh, let me go with this one. Yeah. This Emmanuel Daycare. Let's grab that one, drag it there. Okay, that one's got a, a white background. So, this was one of the things that I did for somebody. But now if you get a picture from them like this and you specifically if I'm on the website and I want to drop it and make the background transparent, I have to go into a photo editing program and then make this transparent. Or I could just convert it to a vector art and have it, you know, fully editable. So yeah, because the text is pretty, pretty clear, the it's nice, the image is nice. I'm going to go with a fully automatic. Here we go. One, two, and three. Click there. It's almost like magic. That's why they call it vector magic. It's going through its process, reading the thing, and we'll see what the result is. Boom. Okay, I'm going to switch paths off because that looks a bit messy. Look at this. Isn't this brilliant? If I click on bitmap, we can see that's the bitmap. I'm holding the mouse down now so you can see that's the bitmap when I release. That's the vector it was able to pull from it. Even if you look at these fine areas here, I mean, it was giving some sort of... It reads it so, so well. So this is now vector and it's got a background. It's got a feature here called remove background, which takes the simple color and removes it. As I mentioned earlier, there are so many other features that you can tweak. You can choose the number of colors, include, remove, etc. But you can get to see that when you work with a tool. So I say remove, and if I click in there, I'm going to just zoom in here. Um, let me go A to pen, D, there we go. Okay, so I'm just moving between A and D, these two instructions here. 
um, A again to get down this way, D. So D is to delete, A is to pen. Uh, I'm just getting all these other background white spaces here. And you can go do this in the vector program that you're working, but I prefer doing it just here. It goes much quicker. Um, do I have all of those out? Check, 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 check. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to go to next now and next. And here again, I, let me show you if I go here, I can save it as whichever one of these files. Um, but if you're confident that you're going to take it into and save it into Affinity's format, so you just want this vector, you can go there and select the format. I, I'm using EPS once again. And here we go. I'm going to take that, drag it over there, drop it. And let's go back in here. Isn't that incredible? Double click. Okay, comes up with a profile. Uh, when I double click, because it's an embedded object, it's bringing me here now with all the layers that I find in here. And then your vector editing works as per normal. Okay, you can go and tweak whatever you want to in the program. Okay, so for those of you who are looking for a pixel to vector um, formatting program, I would recommend Vector Magic. 100% of the times. Uh, I just love working with it. It's so seamless. It's And if you get your teeth into it with a complicated side of things, you can do most of the other work quite good.